how are you today? You ready for class? Let's go! Hey guys, come on out to your lines. Okay guys, stop playing around, jump in the line. Except by Thomas is using his dummy lots. I hope you guys are getting practice at home. This is a very useful thing. We're gonna have to dummy jump into line today. There, set by Thomas, so you can stand beside the dummy who's stretching apparently. Oh, and I'm gonna get one thing. I had put this to the side so we didn't wreck it. Our nice picture of the masters. We need it for this side, don't we? Okay, is everybody ready? Attention. Salle de son, oh, and about the master bearing. It was his birthday the other day. Okay, let's uh, spread out. We're gonna do a quick little warm up, okay? Do you have your jujitsu buddy ready? We're gonna do a warm up with our jujitsu bunny buddy. If you don't have it ready, go get it ready. Not your bunny, your buddy. Now, watch that by Thomas. He's gonna pretend to grab the legs and pass the guard and go to knee on belly. And if you have a long jujitsu buddy, you might be able to grab the legs here. Okay, because he's got a long body pillow. So let's see, Sunpai Thomas can grab the body pillow part. And ready, pass the guard, and go knee on belly. And then jump back, and pass the guard, and knee on belly the other side. Good. Okay, so this is the, what we're going to do. And I want you guys to do it with us. So come on over this way, Sunpai Thomas. Make sure you guys have lots of space. If you can't grab your dummy's buddy's legs, just pretend to. But if you can, you can do it. Ready? One minute, go. Go, go, go. Pass the guard, knee on belly. Pass the guard. Knee on belly. Good. Pass the guard. Knee on belly. Good. Hands are on your, your buddy, not the floor if you can do it. Good. Just like Senpai Thomas. Pass the guard. Knee on belly. Pass the guard. Knee on belly. Keep going. Keep going. Knee on belly is one of my favorite positions to use. It's very, very good. Now we're running our room, so I hope you guys have some space. We're going to bring the dummy back. Keep going. Pass the guard. Knee on belly. Dumb is dragging it away. Yeah, try to move in a circle around it. Pass the guard. Knee on belly. Keep going, keep going. There's only 13 seconds left. Just a little bit more. Go, go, go. Nice job, Senpai Thomas. From one side to the other side. You guys keep going. Don't stop, don't stop. We're almost done. You only got four more seconds. A couple more. And time. All right, relax. Kneel beside your buddy. Your next part. I want you guys to start in side mount. So remember, when we go side mount, we're gonna hold under their head and under their arms. So we're holding on nice and snug, and the knees are really wide. And when I say go, you have to do the position I say. So I'm gonna say a few different positions. I'm gonna say side mount, which this is side mount. Sometimes, can you go side mount with your arm on the other side of the head? Put this one on there. Sometimes you can do side mount like that, where you just hug the arm. That's okay too, okay? I'm gonna say knee on belly. So hand on the shoulder, hand on the hip, pop up. Knee on belly, that's a really good one. I'm gonna say mount, then you go to mount. I'm gonna say knee on belly. Now you could switch whatever side you want. I'm gonna say side mount, back to knee on belly. Okay, so pretty, pretty easy, right? We're gonna go for 30 seconds, ready? Side mount. Did I trick you? We're supposed to start in side mount. Yeah, ready? Ready? Mount, quick, get to mount. Just go to mount, quick, nice. Knee on belly. Nice. Knee on belly, other side. Mount. Knee on belly. Side mount. Oh, nice. Knee on belly. Side mount. Mount. Oh, man, he's going fast. You guys going fast? Knee on belly. Side mount. Other side, side mount. Oh, yeah, he's had to jump all the way around. Other side, side mount. Oh, he's going around the head this time. Other way, side mount. Try again. Go around the head. That was good. Keep going. Step all the way around the head. That's another way we go without squishing our, our partner. Mount. Keep going. Not much time left. Side mount. Knee on belly. Nice. Okay. Good. We got one more move to do. Okay. And it's an arm bar. So I'm hoping that your buddy has some arms. We have our pool noodle arms. Maybe you have rolled up towels inside the arm. That works really well. And having the, the hoodie helps a lot too. All I want you guys to do is hold on to your buddy 
if you can hold on with both legs like that, that's okay too, or here. And I just want you to do this, lay down for an arm bar, and then you're gonna sit up. And lay down for your arm bar, and then you're gonna sit up. That's our little workout, okay? Let's uh, get Senpai Thomas to do it, ready? Get your buddy. Here, can you come over this way a little bit? More, more, more. Okay, so we're gonna go 20 seconds of arm bars. Hang on, don't, don't there you go. Ready? Are you guys ready? Oh, both legs across. And go, arm bar, sit up and lay down arm bar. Sit up, lay down arm bar. Oh, nice, he's fast, keep going. You guys can go fast, it's only 30 seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Holy cow, he's moving very, very quick. Keep those knees pinched. Sit up arm bars, yes, yeah, sit up that arm bar. Keep going, 10 seconds left. He's got a lot of arm bars. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Five seconds, he's slowing down. Are you slowing down? Keep going, two seconds, one. Okay, time. I had an idea. I'm curious. Here, you put one leg on the outside and I'll put one. Maybe we could share our buddy. Get nice and close. Well, watch where that toe goes. Get underneath <laughs> my butt. All right, ready? High five our dummies' hands together. Well, you gotta sit up. What's it? It's a sit-up contest. Who's gonna do the most arm bars in the next 25 seconds? Ready? Yeah. Go! One, two, three, keep going. Four, five, six, seven. He's fast. Eight, nine, ten. 11, oh, I'm winning, 12, keep going, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, we're almost there, one second, oh, sorry. oh my goodness, it's a good thing our buddy has no bones, oh, God. are you guys warmed up, go get a quick drink of water, we're going to play with our buddy when you come back, okay guys, so we're going to work on some guard practice with our buddy, and what we're gonna do is taking our buddy's back. So Senpai Thomas is gonna grab the buddy's sleeve with two hands, he pulls it to the side, grabs the armpits, and he's gonna climb up on top to rear mount. Now, because our buddy doesn't have legs, you can't really get hooks, but I'm gonna show you guys something really important. If I'm with Senpai Thomas, and he grabs, he closes his guard, nice and strong, he pulls my arm to the side, and if he climbs onto my back, keep going, but I put my belly down, and see how he doesn't have any hooks? See how his feet are flat on the floor? Here's his hooks, and take the hooks out. Now there's no hooks. In tournaments, you still get four points for that, okay? So this is still a good position. And sometimes your, your partner turns, and then you have mount, and you get four points for that too, right? So Senpai Thomas has his buddy. So sometimes when you're working with your buddy, it might turn funny, and you might get mount, or you might get rear mount, and that's okay. So let's watch again. He's gonna grab one hand or two arms, yep or one of his arms or two of his hands, just drag it across, grab the armpit, and then just climb to the back. Nice, all right, let's see, go do it again. Remember, you guys are doing it with us, right? So get ready, get your closed guard, and grab an arm, pull it across, grab the armpit, climb around onto the back. Nice, now let's go again. Right, ready, grab an arm, grab, pull it across, grab the armpit, and climb onto the back. We want to make sure we hold the armpit, right? How come? I'm um, sorry, he doesn't get away. Yeah, he roll away. we don't want them to get away or roll away, okay? Let's see, ready? And if you're doing what Senpai Thomas is doing, is switching sides, that's really good. Ready? Let's go for a little over a minute here. Ready? Go. Grab an arm. Pull it aside, grab the armpit, and climb. Good. Back to guard. Grab that arm. Make sure you grab the armpit. The, the buddy's probably not going to get away from you, right? <laughs> but we want to make sure we're drilling good habits. So grab, grab the armpit, and then climb on top. Good. Grab the arm, grab the armpit, and climb on top. Make sure we get all those steps. Good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice, keep it up, keep it up. Grab the arm, pull it across, grab the armpit, and climb on top. Nice work, we got about 15 seconds left, guys. Keep it up, keep it up. Yes. Keep going, keep going. Get a couple more. We're losing the arm here for a little. Oh, that time he's gonna roll them out. Sometimes that happens. Your dummy's gonna roll, put their back on the mat, or your partner will. Good. Good. Keep going. One more. One more off each side. One more off each side. Oh, that was a sweep. I saw that one. <laughs> That's gonna happen too. Pull that arm. Drag it across. Nice. And one more time on the other side. Fix it up. Drag it. Okay. Time. 
Good. So that's a, a fair amount of work, right? Dragging that arm across. What's that move called? Taking the back. Taking the back by using a what? Arm drag. Arm drag. You're dragging the arm. That's an arm drag to the back. Good. So now let's go to the middle here. And I'm gonna even on her dummy. Let's go back to guard again. Oh, middle malfunction. Got to fix his belt. Nice. Nice and tight. Good. Now, here's a sneaky way to do it. He, watch that by Thomas. He's going to duck underneath the arm. Um, I'm, actually, here, do it with me first. Yes. Maybe it'll make a little more sense with the, with the real partner. I'm in close. He's going to go under. You okay? Yeah. He's going to go underneath my arm. He's going to duck. Yes, there. So. Instead of where I'm sitting up and he grabs my hand and he pulls it across, he's gonna pull me with his knees and then he's gonna duck underneath my arm and go around. It's very similar, keep going all the way. Good, and now jump off. It's very similar, but a little different. And even if with the buddy, it looks more like the first one, that's okay, because it's a really good way to take the back. So we're gonna, the trick with this though is you gotta pull your knees to your chest. So if you watch Senpai Thomas from this angle, when he pulls the knees there, then he can duck underneath the arm and then take the back. And this one works really good, especially from Butterfly Guard. It's like one of my favorites from Butterfly Guard, yes. And that one you really need to bring your knees to your chest, right? It's good, let's see it go and around. Good, and I'm gonna do the butterfly guard one on the set by Thomas, you can see. Okay. So my feet are inside his legs. I grab underneath his armpits, I lift them up and I put my arm underneath, and then I go around and take his back. It's one of my favorite moves. So if you wanna try and make a butterfly guard with your, your buddy, you can do that. Otherwise, really bring the knees forward. Okay, ready? And go, pull the knees forward, get underneath an arm, and jump to the back. Almost had a triangle and an arm bar in there. Let's go again. Bring the knees forward, go underneath the arm, and then climb around to the back. Maybe it's gonna be mount. Keep going. Bring your knees forward, go underneath the arm, and spin. Sometimes this happens. Did you see that? Do that again, Senpai Thomas. This happens a lot, especially from butterfly guard, because you can lift them up with your feet, spin them, and then the dummy <laughs> slaps them in the head. Good, back to guard, keep going, keep going guys, ready? Hold your knees forward, get underneath that arm. Good, and climb around. You gotta really, except by Thomas Sue, you gotta really pull. Get your butt off the floor when you pull. Pull, yes, it makes the, the partner go forward more. So it's, they're off balance and it's easier to get under their arm because they put their hands on the floor. Keep going, yes, that was a much better one. He's getting his hips up. Keep going guys, bring those knees in, good. That's a more of a butterfly style one. That's fine, you're gonna lift them up or you're gonna lift them forward. Keep going. Keep going, guys. Not much time left. Keep going. Pull. Oh, wait a second. Uh, that was an arm drag. Still a good arm drag, though. That's fine, but were you really using our knees? It's gonna make our stomach muscles strong, too, because it's a lot of this pulling motion. Pull. Okay. Almost like you're gonna do a rear roll. Keep going, keep going. Let's get uh, three more. Ready, one. Whoa, he almost got slapped in the head again. You gotta hold on to the underhooks if you're gonna do that. Yeah. Ready, two, yes, so he doesn't slap you in the head. And we got one more. Keep it going, keep it going, finish off this last one. Nice, all the way to mount. Good job, okay. We'll give our dummy a break here. I keep saying dummy, I mean to say buddy, he's our friend. He's very, very helpful for us. Um, really good move to do, and especially they practice both sides. So we have two ways to do it. You can drag the arm across, or you can pull your knees forward and go underneath. And sometimes you'll have one that's really, really good, better than the other, or you might have one on one side you like, and on the other side you like another move, and that's really, really good too, okay? Uh, really good job, job guys. Go ahead and quick drink of water. Okay guys, so we're gonna do a little bit of a drill with our buddy doing arm bars. You guys remember how to do arm bars? Watch Senpai Thomas, he's going to do an arm bar quick. He's got knee on belly, pulls up the arm, spins around the head, and goes for his arm bar. And we're going to do this one. I'm going to give you a choice. If you're really good and fast, you're going to start standing. So watch Senpai Thomas. You can go past the guard, knee on belly, lift the arm, spin, and arm bar. 
Or if you're still working on arm bar, you should just start in knee on belly. So watch Senpai Thomas, he's got knee on belly, he lifts the arm and he spins. Good. Now, there's a trick to this one and we're gonna show you this angle. Watch Senpai Thomas's foot, okay? So can you just start in uh, knee on belly, please? Okay, what I want you to watch is this foot, the one back here, okay? The one that has the knee on the belly. He's gonna lift the arm, freeze. He's got his other hand on the shoulder and watch what he does with this foot. He's gonna spin, go ahead. Freeze, see where the foot goes? Up by the shoulder of the body. Okay, and that's gonna make things a lot better. Can you go back? And we're gonna show them what's probably gonna happen. If you leave your foot there, where it was, and you lift the arm up, and when you step over, you kind of sit funny on your ankle, and that's not good. So we wanna make sure you turn your toes this way and put it underneath you so that you don't have to stand up and you don't fall funny on your foot. That's gonna be pretty important. For the little guys, you're a little more flexible, but for the older kids, that's something that could be dangerous. You don't want your foot to go out when you lay back. So you have to make sure, turn underneath. So watch again. He's gonna lift that arm, and he spins. What are you spinning on? My knee. He's spinning on his knee. He's doing this. He's spinning on his knee to go for the arm bar, okay? So let's just do five arm bars from knee on belly first, and then we're gonna do the drill, ready? Everybody get knee on belly. Good, hold onto the shoulder, lift the arm, and spin, that's one. Good, did you get your foot tucked in? Very important. Ready, lift the arm, push the shoulder, two, spin, knee on belly. He's doing a really good job. You ready? Three, nice, keep going. We're gonna fix the dummy's arm here. Four, got the arm, spin, and one more. Five. Nice, okay, are you guys ready? We got one minute, I'm gonna get my timer ready. Are you ready, Senpai Thomas? Oh yeah. Get ready. Let's see. Ooh. Oh my goodness, someone's playing with my timer. I want you guys, there we go, to start either knee on belly, or standing, you chose, choose which one's better. You're gonna start standing though, right? Okay, you ready? One minute of arm bars, on your mark, set, go! Good job, keep going, keep going. Keep a steady pace, good. Oh, nice, he's switching sides yeah. too. That's good practice, good. Keep going. Three, keep going. If you guys wanna switch sides, that's good too. Make sure you stay in one area instead of running all over the place, keep going. Four. Keep going, keep going. You got 30 seconds left. Pass that guard. Lift the arm. Push on the shoulder. Arm bar. Nice. It's getting better. Keep it up. Keep it up. Stay moving. How many can you get? Make sure you watch your surroundings so you don't hit your head on something, right? We got a lot of space here. If you're going to do it at home, you might have to be a very small area. Don't move around so much. Yes. Oh, hurry. 15 seconds. Got a couple more left. Nice. I hope Senpai Thomas is counting. I'm curious if you can get more than him. Keep going, four seconds. Time. A number. We don't know how many. Maybe I'll put a little number at the bottom of the video. I'm curious if you can beat him with how many arm bars you got, okay? Really good job, guys. Get a quick drink. Okay, guys, so for the next move that we're gonna do with our jujitsu dummy is a judo throw called Diashi Burai. And it's a foot sweep. We're sweeping the foot. This is a very fun one for not just judo people and jujitsu people, but in karate too, they do foot sweeps. Okay. Now what we're looking for is when their feet are close together or if they're crossing their feet. Those are two really good times to do a diashi barai. And one of my favorite ones to do to, is at the gratings when you guys get a new belt and I say, jump. So let's jump, Thomas, jump. Jump, nice. He doesn't know when it's gonna happen. Oh, no. well, at some point, I'm gonna take this foot and I'm gonna sweep his foot. But he doesn't know, oh, it's there. I like this one because it's a strong grip and it keeps people by surprise. So one thing Senpai Thomas can do is make sure he has a strong grip, which he does, and I have to make sure I have a strong grip so he doesn't flip around. So watch again, he's gonna jump, jump, jump. What should I do? Number three, four, now. And there's the break fall, hopefully. Now, 
We're going to practice with our jujitsu dummy. So watch step by Thomas. Same grips that you'll have done with other throws. So hand is on the lapel and hand is on the arm. Okay, so if you have your dummy ready, good. If not, go get your dummy ready and come back quick. Pause the video and then get back to it. So let's get our dummy jumping a little bit. Bounce. Oh man, that guy's little jumps. He doesn't have to bounce up and down. He's doing the splits. Okay, ready? And when I say go, you're going to foot sweep just like this. Ready, go. Foot sweep, go. Good. Now you can go to the on belly or you can stay standing. Up to you. Ready? Make your dummy bounce a little bit. Get him jumping, get him jumping. And foot sweep. There you go. Do you notice when Tom, Senpai Thomas is doing it? It's when the dummy's in the air, not when the dummy's on the ground, right? Keep going, keep going, right? We're gonna turn this way and make your dummy jump. Jump your dummy. And when you're ready, sweep, go. Nice work. When we do the sweep, we're trying to use this part of the foot here. So when you sweep, it's not sideways. If you watch the Senpai Thomas here, we have to make sure the pillow is soft, but people's ankles aren't. So if you watch, I'm not hitting this way. See where my foot's flat on the floor? Now we're gonna bang ankles together and that hurts. I'm gonna turn my foot and go here. It's almost like I'm slapping his foot, okay? Sometimes you see me sweeping little fuzzes or lint from your knees off the mat. That's my foot sweep practice, okay? So let's get ready for a dummy. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Ready, make them bounce, ready, go, sweep. Good, and the on belly or arm bar, ready? Jump back up, and keep bouncing, keep bouncing dummies, keep your bum, go! That was a big one, and back up right away, back up right away, ready? Go! Nice, oh man, <laughs> this is a good arm bar. Keep going, ready? Go! Keep going, keep going, two more, ready? Bounce your dummy, go! Nice, one more, one more, and go! I, I, think the I think we gotta do that one again. He skipped on the sweep straight to the number. Go! There. Now, you can see he's landing in an arm bar position. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with Senpai Thomas, because sometimes it's confusing with the dummy. Come here, Senpai Thomas, you jump up. Okay. Usually I throw you guys, I don't arm bar you. So he's gonna jump. Oh, and there's my sweep. Look, right here. There's my arm bar position. I can put my leg over his head and then step down. This makes for a good arm bar. Now, if your dummy has pool noodle arms, that helps. There's something there to hang on to. So if you want to add the arm bar at home, you guys can definitely do that. We're going to do the next part first though. You guys can do that as homework. Now, we're going to walk and 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 then sweep our partner. I'm gonna catch him as he's taking a step just before his foot comes down. So we're gonna show a different angle of it now. We're gonna go sideways. Are you ready? I'm gonna walk forward just a little bit. Good, now I'm gonna walk backwards. Now remember, I wanna catch this foot for the throw. So I'm gonna step back. I'm gonna step back. <laughs> I'm gonna step back. On the next one, I step sideways and then I go here and catch his leg for the throw, okay? So let's watch one more time. We were doing a throw before where it's a sotogari and I stepped to the outside. But on this one, we're stepping the other way. We're stepping with my right foot. So we're gonna be going walk, walk, walk. As we go back, walk, walk, get ready, step. There's my sweep this move. So the walking sometimes can be tricky, but this is a good practice. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yes, especially if he's not ready. You know who, not, who else isn't ready? And your dummy. He is definitely not ready. So what's up by Thomas? We're going to break those things down now. So we're going to go step to the side, foot sweep. Foot sweep. All right, ready? Yes. Let's see, is he stepping to the side though? He's not stepping to the side. That step to the side is really important. It's really important. Step to the side. He's not stepping to the side. This foot has to, no, no. This foot steps this way. And then you turn this way. Oh. Yes. I'm going to stop right there to show you guys something cool. My mini monkeys know this one well. 
I'm going to put Senpai Thomas on the wall. Get close. Get closer. Closer. When I push Senpai Thomas into the wall, what does he do? He steps to the side and then spins me. But do you see which way you stepped? Mm -hmm. Let's practice stepping the other way because we're going to trip with this leg. So he steps to the other side. Yes! Let's watch that again. You guys know this one well. I push him through all these steps and then spins. And maybe he pushes me into the wall. And I step to the side and turn him. I want to go one more time. Watch your feet. Oh no, I'm going back. Step to the side. Oh! Now I can foot sweep him into the wall. I would do that for, that's a pretty dangerous one. Yeah. But you see how the footwork works. Yes. So Senpai Thomas has got his dummy. You guys have your dummy. We're going to step with our right foot, trip with our left. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, step and trip. Good. Two, step to the side and trip. There you go. Step and trip. Go. Nice. And come back. Go. Step, trip. Yes. Step, trip. Nice. Now watch one important thing. Senpai Thomas is doing a very good sweep, but we need to use our hands. Watch what my hands do. They're throwing that behind me. Ready? Get those hands ready. Let's see. Step. And yes. Step. Sweep. Yes. Step. Sweep. Okay. We're going to go into our one minute workout. I'm going to fix our dummy's head here and our body because he is definitely going to fall apart here. Senpai Thomas is going to see how many, what's it called again? Diashibarai. Diashibarai. Ashi means foot, but I mean sweep. Diashibarai. Now, you guys are going to practice your foot sweep at home, as many as you can do in a minute. If you want to do the bounce, 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 sweep, knee on belly. Bounce, sweep, knee on belly. You can do that one. You can step to the side and throw it where he's landing. Okay? And at the last one, when I say five seconds or three seconds left, I want to see if you can make your dummy do a flip. <laughs> okay? Don't hit anything at home. Be careful. Don't put them in the roof or the ceiling fan or out a window. Hang on to your dummy. All right, we got one minute on the clock. I'm going to count his foot sweeps. You try to beat him. Ready? And go! One. You got to get the knee on belly though. It's got to be me on belly, you're not counting up. One, two, there you go. Three, four, get that forward. Five, six, seven, he's doing the jumping one. Eight, keep going. Nine, ten, now he's gonna step to the side. Go, step to the side. Eleven, step and sweep. Twelve, thirteen, he's going in a circle. 14, oh, he tripped on his dummy foot. 15, keep going, how much time left? 16, 17, 18, don't land on his head. His head's hiding, 19, keep going, the dummy's falling apart. Keep going, 20, holy cow, he's doing lots, we're almost there. 21, are you guys going faster than him? 22, oh, he, the dummy tripped him again, he's getting tired. Hurry, three seconds left, do a flip on the next one, quick, yep. Oh, oh, that was like one and a half flips. Nice. Oh, I, I think our dummy is destroyed. Is yours? Is your room destroyed? <laughs> Did you break anything? I hope you are safe. That took a lot of room. But you can make it in one spot. You just go a little slower. Is it a good workout? Yes. He is tired. He got, I think, 21 or 22 throws. Nice. That's a lot. How many did you guys get? I'd love to see the video. Okay? You guys... Get ready for the next part. Get a quick drink too, okay? Job today, guys, on your moves. I like that we're using our jujitsu buddy. Very, very helpful thing to do. We don't always have someone to work with and it's good to practice movements in the air and solo drills. Mobility is really important, but it's nice with our buddy. We can actually do a lot of stuff, so when we can get back to class, we're good to go, okay? Nice job today. Attention. Salles en rousse. And a little bow for Thomas and a little high five or pat on the back for our buddy and one for you too guys. Nice work. Barry Jiu Jitsu. Us. I think Senpai Thomas is going to play with his buddy again.
your sticker. I hope you had fun today. We'll see you soon. You take care. Have fun outside. Hopefully you can play outside today. It's really nice. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>